Wouldn't you me damn Vash? No, Bob you Sarah, <laughs> just, just the Vash. So I'm taking Sarah in my little 4x4 down to see my bit of woodland and down to the river here. You need a little 4x4 to get down here, but it's quite interesting. Bonjour, me Vash. Ça va, petit? Oui, ça va, oui. OK, à bientôt. As long as he likes that walk. Woodland here. So we'll have a little walk in there. So I've just set up these two rods temporarily with worms and I get a couple of rod rest cuts here. There we are. I'll just wait. Hope and see. These are my new Mark IIs. I haven't tried them, haven't caught anything with them as yet. But uh, they're lovely rods, and I've got a couple of a bite on this rod then. Definitely a green bite. Let's see if we've got him. Yep, they're in there. Nice fish. With this, the gears in this spotter. Oh, it's a good fish, this. I'm quite sure what I've got. Even this really long time here. I don't know if we can get a go into it today. But it feels like a nice fish. Oh, it's a beautiful bream. It's a big bream. Absolutely smashing bream. Biggest beam I've caught here. Ah, that makes the day whatever. Go on, my beauty. Up you come. Absolutely gorgeous beam. There we go. I'll put you back in as quick as we can in the heat. And look at this big fish. It's a lovely one. I'm getting unhooked and back in quickly. Quick photograph. into the water. Well, we had that one fish and been here about half an hour, so I don't think it's going to be much else. A few bubbles. Had this happen last time, I caught one and then nothing. And I think we'll go for a quiet beer at the local blues bar and pack in this for a moment.
Spot on. Spot on. You're in the water, you're halfway up the wheels. Your boat's in the water, but you, your, your back end's in the water. The back end of the boat is in the water. And you're about three foot away from the water with the car. That's what I So we just launched the boat and Sarah noticed a mushroom and looking down here it looks like a big seps. I'll take that back for tea.
actual room, but we'll help you out. <laughs> okay. I hope so. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Sarah, you see? Are you enjoying your holiday then? You've got one day left. But you wish you've got longer now, don't you? So I've come back next year, unless you use it in winter sometime. But don't, you've got holiday, any holiday left, have you now, to use this year? So it can't be this year then. Oh well, next year maybe. Ready? Yes. It's on. It's on. It's on. It's on. It's on. It's on. Now I can it's start. On. Okay, you're ready. Now, right, okay. Camera Dave's supposed to tell me these things. <laughs> so how have so you I've enjoyed having holiday. your sister here today? What, what sister? Have I got a sister? <laughs> I wonder who you were. This woman disappears. You know. I get these people disappearing in Paradu, you know, from all, from all over these Facebook strange people um, and, and YouTube. But here we are, yes. I uh, haven't seen my sister much for a few years, and this is probably one of the nicest times we've ever had, in my opinion. We've had real quality time together without having to rush anyway. I haven't got to rush back, I haven't got to rush down, she hasn't got to rush back. We're just able to relax here and enjoy each other at last. So hopefully, this is one of many to come. Yeah. Oh, it'd be lovely to come again. I really enjoyed it. It's a beautiful place. It's, you've really looked after me really well. I feel as I've had a lovely holiday, Peter. It's Good. Fantastic. This engine starts. And so Sarah had managed to fall backwards getting into the boat, and it's now she only had one orange juice. Look. And she's absolutely stuck in the back of it, trying to get up. So I'm going to film this. This should be for you being framed. But I managed to have to miss the actual falling. So we get out of these compromising positions. If I don't get at least 2,000 hits for this... <laughs> Although my sister has a boyfriend, she's actually at present single, and now this might persuade you... Whatever you want, let me know.
Hartley Wood, our friends, for a lovely Sunday dinner. So Lynn and Brian have invited us around in this beautiful spread that I cannot resist just filming because it's so pretty. And with the candles and everything, yes. Filet mignon. Cabbage with Homegrown runner beans and homegrown carrots. Oh, <coughs> and <Yeah. laughs> really a little help. And this special now, what do we say this was? This this dish dish? It's your homemade it's a, it's a Hungarian cabbage. Right. Seeds, and it's, uh, it's, uh, cream. So the the cabbage can all go from Hungary, you said. So why is it Hungarian cabbage? It's a Hungarian recipe. Right. And the, have you just given us the whole recipe or are you keeping it secret? <laughs> no, that's that's mine. That's mine. Oh, <laughs> what this time we've got homemade apple pie with French apples and English custard, creme anglaise and cream as well on mine because I'm a total pig as usual. <laughs> <laughs> a nice fresh glass of uh, melon juice and uh, we're doing the seps that I found yesterday when we were going out in the boat or bolitas. Should be delicious this morning for a nice crispy surface bolitas. We'll, we'll just make sure the mushrooms are filmed before you eat them <laughs> so that when we find it's dead they'll know what it was that did the job. But they look quite nice, don't they? I've just rechecked them on the internet actually, so I know all right. Now we're going to go to the restaurant at Montchevrier. This rather fooled us sorry, this rather fooled us as we came past. Um, we thought these swans or things were for real here, but they're actually plastic ones. <laughs> but quite good sat there. Lovely big banana tree up here, like beautiful big one of the biggest banana trees I think I've seen outside tropical places. Lovely big tree. Today at the Mont Chevrier we have Early. Nobody's here yet, but five minutes and we're in. Oh, it's a, one of the most pleasant restaurants in the area. Merci. Well, we're now in Argenton Sur Cruz for the gallery meeting this evening. We've got an hour and a half to enjoy looking around the gardens. So the gallery is right on the corner of the bridge to the river here. We've been able to fish here, but obviously one can.
Tea garden, la. There's a gone good shop over there. Time. <laughs> Can you do it again? I missed the first bit. What, the, the singing, yeah. And I shall show forth thy praise. O Lord, make haste to help us. There we Pilgrim arrives. Right. Well, a nice refreshing drink while we wait, which has got grenadine in it and lemonade and something or other. Couldn't Lager. remember the name that, sorry? Lager. Lager, is it as well? Yeah. But it's very refreshing in this hot day. C'est ma, ma nouveau uh, amie. Uh, she's the gallery owner here who's very kindly going to have my paintings and she's showing me her house and it's beautiful. She has very good taste in colour. She likes colour like me and has this wonderful home. Opening the windows to look out at the, the pont, the, the view here. It's gorgeous, yes. Oh, you have a, a, the premier view, the premier place. You see. Oui, oui je fais tout, sa maison, sur la pont. Mr. And another de, de lift, Mantel. Oui. <laughs> yes, it's beautiful. You, you noticed this before. Beautiful big lampshade here and the uh, painting on the ceiling. Correct? Mm -hmm. I like. Sarah's here at the moment. Hello Sarah. Hello. And uh, she asked me while she was here because she likes, she likes to share hobbies and things and interests and she had a bit of painting with me and we've done some pyrography and all sorts of different things. And she said can you teach me a little bit about carving Pete? So I thought well, rather than just do it with her, uh, share, share that with her only. I mean we know we've got films of mine on here and from walking sticks to carving fish to all sorts. But just a few of the basics for Sarah today might interest some of you guys. Just the starter tips really. Behind me, so I've bought a second hand bandsaw recently, and I've got a lathe. On the right here, I've got my mount cutter. Very basic workshop here. Um, some people would be horrified. I know many craftsmen who prefer to have things like a kitchen, absolutely immaculate. I already just got set up in here this year in France, so this is a second workshop, and it's big enough for me just to do what I want and to create. And I hope to be carving more here for you later with far more creativity. I want to do some uh, a lot of uh, decoy ducks and uh, carvings. I'm going to do a huge um, owl, I hope, sort of that big with the chainsaw later on. So we've got things lined up for you for fun in the future. But before you start off, let me just show you a few of the tips and tools of the trade um, that may help you just to pick up what you want from car boot sales and so on, or your local hardware store, that will get you started, eh? I bought these old kitchen units out from the garage when I came here and made a small workshop out of them. Uh, because I just needed work surfaces and I've got something here for sharpening up the teeth and the chainsaw. I've got my basic tools set up just on screws and nails where I can hang and see them there. Um, a cross cut chop saw, lathe over here and a cupboard under here where I keep my basic electric hound tools. Doing it again. Right. And just, just tap. tap in slightly yeah. around the petal and yeah. that way as well. OK, well, we've got to go for dinner now, so we're going to stop there for the moment and you finish it off tonight. We'll just show um, the viewers what you've done so far. So there we are, that's with the light over it, that's giving you an idea of how to carve in relief. So well done, Sarah. Well, Sarah, we've come to the end of the few days. It's been regrettable that it's been so short. 
because in fact short but a lot going on and we've achieved a lot between ourselves in these few days and at last had time together which has been more than overdue for many years now um, so it's been a lovely break for me as well and uh, hopefully you'll come back and see me many more times as we mentioned in the film already but uh, you go tomorrow morning on the plane I'm about to rush off and on the way back I should go fishing and do a bit of painting and uh, this is your time to have a little talk about the place and say what you feel over the over the few days. Um, well, this is my, my last glass of wine. I've been treated to many wonderful culinary treats by Peter and um, by all his friends that have been, been most welcome while I've been here. Um, hopefully, you know, I'll be able to come back and, and, and um, continue their acquaintances. They're a fantastic bunch of people and, and have done nothing but, but be friendly, really. Um, We've seen some amazing places, um, you know, the rivers are fantastic, the forests are lovely, the peace is brilliant, and I mean, the hammock is now my favourite place, and um, <laughs> Great. I'm going to be putting my name upon that hammock. Well, I thought you were going to plant, I mean, I can give you some acorns so that when you get back you can put a couple <laughs> in, the, in the ground there in your garden, and, and maybe a few years' time we'll have something to hang the hammock between. <laughs> Having, having spent a little while on the science of hammock, get, hammock getting into and out of, I've now got it down to a pat. I've also got a rocking stick so I can rock myself with it now. Um, we've, I say we've packed a lot in, in, in four days and um, the heat was, is hotter than I would normally be able to handle. But we've potted around and we've been in the shade and, and we, you know there's been some beautiful places to visit. So um, Peter's been kindly going at my pace. Um, which is hard for Peter at his pace. <laughs> Actually, no, I've slowed down a lot these days myself. Um, he very kindly um, volunteered to, to... Well, he didn't volunteer. I, I, I asked him if he would do some woodwork with me, some basic woodwork skills, uh, which we've squeezed in somewhere because we've done so much. Um, but that's been very helpful. And I know there's a video of that, so I'll be able to... That's the wood that. carving side more than woodwork, yeah. Say, yeah. Wood, wood carving. Yeah. Um, that's been very helpful, so I'll be able to look look back on that and pick up on the on the uh, the words and the, the odds that you d that don't go in while you're. Um... I think I've given you a sort of a, a, a whistle stop tour yeah. of what this area has to offer. So mm. you've just got a taster of mm. restaurants, places, rivers, swimming. You know, just just an idea of what you yeah. can come back to and enjoy, and met some very lovely, friendly mm. people. Which I know you were worried about at first, because if you're going to stay longer or come for longer, or even visit on your own, you were worried about support here and the expat community and how friendly the locals would be. But I think you found that quite positive, haven't you? Mm. Everybody's been genuinely it has appeared to be genuinely friendly. Yes, absolutely. And and um, I said, you know, everywhere we've visited, we've we've seen some incredible. Um, <laughs> imaginative places and and some you know some have been given some amazing food and some amazing and so food. much so that i think you're actually tempted to come and live here yourself at some <laughs> stage which you've got to think about very carefully but <laughs> it's it's a dream isn't it uh yeah oh absolutely i mean you know it's uh, you know, if i had if i had if there was nothing in my way then i would definitely have a house here there would be no doubt about it um but there are there are obviously life gets in the way and one has to work things through slowly. But certainly it's changed from a once upon a time to a, a let's see how we can make it work type thing. Brilliant. Mm. Well, first things first, it's coming more and having holidays. Mm. But at least you've got some more dreams now. Mm. Okay then. Well, I'm just going to do a no, bit I'm more wood carving to finish off. Looked after me very well. Good. It's been good. To so a brother should. Do as you're told. <laughs> <laughs> good. Mm. My pleasure. Mm. Sort of. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that about sums it up, really. <laughs> <laughs>